Hello everybody and welcome back to Milton's Talk of the Town. My name is Brian Kelly and today we're going to visit with the new owners of Bent's Cookie Factory. That's right, you're going to get to visit the, where you've been going for generations to get those nice homemade cookies. Yes, um, Melanie and Jim Davis have taken over ownership of the company and they're looking forward to you visiting with them and, and giving them your feedback so that they can make this a real fun place to visit for the folks of Milton and the surrounding communities. Um, some of you may already know that Ben's Cookie Factory is a national historic site. And um, you, there's a sign in front of the building that tells a little bit of the history. But let me give you a, a brief uh, introduction to that. In 1801, Josiah Bent began a baking operation in Milton selling water crackers or biscuits made of flour and water that would not deteriorate during long sea voyages from the port of Boston. The crackling sound occurred during baking, hence the name. This is where the American term cracker originated. His company later sold the original hardtack crackers used by troops during the American Civil War. In 1891, George H. Bent, the grandson of Josiah Bent, built the current building of Bent's Cookie Factory at 7 Pleasant Street. And so in that building is where they make the cookies and the hardtack and the crackers and delicious sandwiches. And so they're looking forward to you coming by and visiting with them and um, checking out uh, the new operation. So again, it's uh, Jim and Melanie uh, Davis are the new owners. And um, I'm with Melanie right now. Melanie Davis does have a background in the restaurant business. Her dad owned a few restaurants, including uh, Grandma country pies and so um, she brings that expertise with her and her husband was in the contra as a contracting business so um, together I think they're going to be able to forge a partnership that will um, help keep Ben's alive for more generations to come here in Melton. So join me as I continue my conversation with Melanie over at the shop right now. Thank you for watching Talk of the Town. And make stuffing out of them whether it's stuffing for big stuffed shrimp or it's um, stuffing for you know your turkey or whatever they are fabulous never would have thought of that yeah and so we are actually uh, wholesaling these as well too. now that when it um, burns the uh, do you have like templates that you could actually put another company's name on a restaurant's name on it and make them for them that's a good question I bet you can because these are dyes that produce so if you had a dye made for a client yes. and you went and showed them they, they do you would, want a job <laughs> they would have to buy your cookies because you're the only one that has the machine can make it like that. Okay, so so and then of course the the second of the crackers that you were asking me about is the hardtack, and this I've, is hardtack. I've never had a hardtack, but I've always heard people talking about them. Yes, and what it is is it's essentially made of two ingredients: flour and water, and literally that's all. Um, and the oh, sounds lovely. <laughs> And the reason why, Not. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and the reason why is because uh, it has a long shelf life. So um, they would sell these to the Civil War troops, mm -hmm. and they would go abroad with these and eat them as rations. And we have people from literally from all over the country, whether it's museums or just uh, Civil War reenactors looking specifically for this hardtack. They hunt us down. I see, it even says Civil War hardtack right on there. Yeah, absolutely. And um, now, do you have a different kind of package that it might have come in years ago? Yes, and that what we also do is we um, reproduce the crates that they were shipped in. They're large boxes, all made of wood, um, with uh, the inscription on the top. So it's very authentic. And, and, and the, the reenactors go crazy for those. That's really something that they like. Um, so this is really, we only have what we believe is one of the two, only two hardtack machines in the country. And we are, as far as I know, the only one that is producing it legitimately on that machine. Um, from what I hear... Uh, right, the others are probably just... They're, they're doing more crackers. They're doing more... Like a fake hardtack. Yeah, maybe Whoa, a bit. A full hardtack. I don't really know. But, yeah, and then, so but this, these are authentic, folks, correct. right here in Milton. And then this is the third product uh, of the cracker line, which is the cold water cracker. And we have people from all over the country uh, that hunt us down for these. And what it is is, um, whether you're a caterer or an individual, uh, you take this cracker, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. You take a, a butter knife, you break it in half, and you actually toast it under the broiler or put it in your um, toaster oven. Uh, and you put brie on it, or 
put the tuna on it. And it's, then. you have to cook it. It's a, it's a cracker that you actually... Are they healthy crackers? These are... You know, everybody's health conscious nowadays. Well, these... Can we somehow get, like, uh, no said, fat or put well, on the label? it doesn't have any fat. It has very low sodium, I hey, believe. good. So, um, we should be in good shape there, but... This is. Um, they didn't worry about that stuff then. No, <laughs> this product is very much an anomaly. You will never, you won't see it anywhere else. It's and again, it's it's stamped with the uh, GH Ben insignia, and it's just a great, unique product. All three of these are very unique products. You wouldn't be able to find an oyster cracker that's a one, one, one piece. piece, and it tastes good too. Although I wouldn't eat five at once <laughs> and try and talk, but. <laughs> Well, this is fascinating. I, you know, this is the first time someone's even shown me the hard tack or the crackers that you make here. So um, I'm sure there's a lot of people in town that have never even tried them. Right. You know? And this is just the second tier of what we do, which is the internet. So this is all internet sales for this. Internet. And we do it. You can come into our store. We have a little hard tack um, cracker section, and you can pick it up and, and bring it home. We're going to also be doing um, more wholesale, and that's the third level of this business that I was talking about. Um, which is uh, expanding our wholesale. Okay, we're selling these to restaurants, does that Correct. mean? Or As to we, other retail distributors? Correct. Like the fruit center or something like that? Exactly. And are you watching the Mignosas? Yes, are you watching? The, you ought to have some hard tack down in East Milton because some people don't want to have to drive all the way over here to get them. We're actually going to be talking. And then behind us with the cookies. Oh, zoom over here with those cookies. Can you see any cookies in the bowl? These My are, favorite are the oatmeal are they really oh. okay well you're gonna have to take some before you leave oh the um the these, butterscotch these ones for the butterscotch right ones the butterscotch um, too. butter crunch are behind the uh the green uh brown uh green sprinkly ones oh. um we have tons of varieties there's lemon sugar there's um oatmeal raisin uh oatmeal mystery cookies macaroons um mystery cookies that's another thing that would worry me <laughs> Mystery cookies. Those are the you ones. Would be, that... You would be surprised at how many people want those. Once I hear they're mystery, or well, they ask me what's in them, I say I don't know. They're like, okay, I'll have them. They want them. They live on the edge. And the thing is, is if you give somebody a cookie, the chance your chances they'll come back. They they're addictive. I guess back in the day, another interesting uh, piece of information is back in the day, Bent and Peggy Lawton were head to head in competition. They were right in there. And Peggy Lawton, as you know, is now in every supermarket across the country. So what did Peggy do? I'm trying to find <laughs> Peggy, if you're we'll watching. Back, we'll get back to you on that. But, um, so that's really, you know, what the store is, is about. The high-end deli um, specialty sandwiches, that's something that people come here for. The, the other things, um, like the cookies, another thing that they really come here for. We would like to also include other things that people could come here for. Such I have, as? I have three children. Mm -hmm. I don't have anywhere in town to go for my kids' birthday parties. Okay. You know? So where can I go and get fresh baked goods for those parties? Mm -hmm. um, so that's really important, to, to be able to provide a, a local service to mothers, because um, I'm one of them. So you can relate. Exactly. And, and then the catering, you know, servicing other businesses in town and bringing them, um, you know, gourmet sandwiches and the trays of cookies and brownies and what, whatever they need, really. So. so what's your dream for, for the future of Benz? Uh, is to keep it as it is in terms of just being an historic landmark and having the 200 years of history behind it. I mean, that is really um, just a fascinating piece of the business. Sure, that, and that's why people wouldn't want to lose this as yeah, a landmark. It has an intrinsic value um, that is just something unique. So to take that and to broaden it mm -hmm. and to reach out to more people and, and to provide better service, um, it, especially in the retail operation, to provide people with a shorter wait of time so that they're not standing around waiting too long, okay. um, that they're able to call in their orders um, ahead of time and be able to, to get that, just come in quickly, you know, you don't have a lot of time. So That's the biggest challenge with people, time. Exactly, and to be able to make those sandwiches quick enough to, to get them out to these people so mm -hmm. that they can enjoy the rest of their day and um, do what they need to do. But Are you keeping the same names they used to have? Yep, the Parkway, Adam the, Street, the Fompon, and the Wildcat, Wildcat's number one seller. Um, and my mother actually did all those signs for me, uh, those are slates. Um, from a roof. Nicole, um, pause for a second. 
Okay, folks, we just moved over here so you can see what we were talking about. Now, Melanie was saying, whatever you were saying about these, and tell the folks at home. You look right in the camera. Sure. These are slates, you said? They're slates from an actual roof, um, and they were... Uh, That's why the building leaks. <laughs> no, what roof? I Not wish, this roof. <laughs> I wish we had a slate roof. If we had a slate roof, we wouldn't have to redo it for 100 years. That's true. Um, so it's just, it's a fun way to sort of display... Um, all of the sandwiches that we have. Um, my mother did the, the, the writing for it. She's She does a lot of calligraphy, and so... Um, Go ahead, you can say hi to Mom. Go ahead, say hi to Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Love you. Um, and what's the biggest seller? The biggest seller is definitely the Wildcat. That would be number one. That would be an upper left-hand corner. The Wildcat. A triple-decker, right. boar's head, oven-roasted, turkey breast, Virginia baked ham, Munster cheese, bacon, honey mustard, mayo, lettuce, and tomato on sourdough. Yeah, coming right up. Fat-free. Yes. <laughs> There's Sounds not much good. here that's fat free, except for the crackers, probably. Um, but that, uh, you know, that's just a fun way of displaying it, and we're going to be running a lot of specials. So we want people, we understand that it's a hard time right now in terms of the economy. So we want people to be able to come in and feel like they're, they're getting, um, you know, good value. And these sandwiches are hearty, they're huge, um, and we want to sort of add things to that and be able to provide them with a good value. Are your hours changing from what they were? No, or? our hours will remain exactly Why don't you tell the folks the hours? Uh, 7 to uh, 3. Oh, no, I'm sorry, 7 to 5. It's only been a week, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, I believe, is 7.30 to 3. Okay, so, 7.30 to 3 is that. Correct, and All we're right. not open on Sunday. We need one day of rest. There you go. And so, and so in the back room you, is where you prepare the sandwiches, or do you prepare them out here? We prepare them mostly out here. Okay. Our catering operation um, takes place in the back, and that's where you know people call in for catering orders, whether it's birthday parties or office functions or whatever. We'll take care of most of that back there. And then all of the manufacturing of um, the cookies. We have two humongous ovens the size of cars upstairs. Can we see it? Um, sure. Okay. We'll be right back, folks. Well, folks, we're going to have to come back another time and do the ovens. It's too dark up there. It wouldn't work to the camera. So what we'll do is um, maybe someday when you're in production and making the cookies, the, the crackers and everything, yes. th some of those old machines would be great to show the people at home. And down the road, we'd actually like to have tours of the facility. You should have, like, historical tours. Exactly. Show people these ancient machines that are still, in to this day, today. in operation. And it's, it's an anomaly. It's, 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 it would be nice to be able to expose other people to it and let them see. Um, but we're working on it. We ought to get a sign in East Milton saying, Milton, home of the cracker. That is such a great idea. I mean, if if it really was invented here, why aren't we promoting it I as a town? We can move up the ladder from 7th best community, maybe we can move up to 2nd or something. Who can we talk to about that? You know, and when dignitaries come to town, we'll give them crackers. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> yeah. You know, we should... You should have sent some high tech crackers down to the inauguration. Legitimately, <laughs> is the home of the cracker, and um, it, it's got great history behind it, and it would be nice to talk about that a little bit more. You ought to sell these things to the Cracker Barrel restaurant, because if they're talking about being a Cracker Barrel restaurant, they ought to have real, real crackers. crackers from... And real choice of crackers. Correct. You know, so. Yes. Hey. All right, we'll have to talk about that. Melanie said something... I was talking to her about Bents and how I was pleased to hear that new owners took over because I would have hated to lose this this part of Milton. It, it's a part of Milton. And uh, I know I've had some friends come up from Florida and we came over here and, you know, it was just a fun, unique thing to do, to visit over here. So I was happy to hear that the place didn't just, you know, become a... Yeah, a lot of people have felt that way. They they. They did, they've come in and said, oh, I'm so glad we didn't want to see it go. We didn't want to see, you know, nothing happen with it. And it's still going to be the same. And, oh, you're going to have some new things. That's great. Because it is an experience. You come in here and you want the experience of coming into a country store and to have a little bit of history, but also have good service and to get what you want, what product that you want. And, and that's important, but it's it's fun to come in, especially in the summertime if you can sit outside and yeah, so have something fine. to eat um, or, you know, walk from your house. There are a lot of local people around here that can do that. Um, every child that comes in with a parent gets a free cookie. That's uh, something they've been doing for years. I'm going to bring my parents in. Well, I'm going to be ID you. I'm not sure, but, um, you know, 
so that's, I have so many older um, uh, people in their 20s coming in saying, I remember coming in here and getting a free cookie when I was little, and, and it's not just one person saying this to me, it's multiple people, and, and we want to continue that tradition. So when you come in, it, you know, the kids will see them at eye level, and they can pick out what they want. So it's just a, it's, it's a unique thing that you're not going to get somewhere else. Well, today, uh, you folks will be watching the show at all different times, but um, in today's newspaper, in the Globe, there was an article in the South, South Weekly section about a general store in Marshfield. Okay. And uh, in Marshfield Hills, and it's been kind of an icon of the area, area and a gathering place for right. the community. But the owner was selling and wasn't making it. So um, Steve Carell, is it Carell, the guy, that, the actor that played in Get Smart? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he was, he was in the newest version of sure. Get Smart. Well, I guess his wife is from there, and they visit uh, back in the summertime. Uh, they come back in the summer, so he bought it. Oh, that's fabulous. And his sister-in-law is running it. And he's going to work behind the counter in the summer. He's going to come up. and uh, But he didn't buy it just for the profitability. Right. And um, he bought it because he wanted to preserve a landmark and something special in the community. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure he wants to make a profit. Of course. But what you mentioned is, and a great point is, if you like Bents, okay, then um, you need to support it. Yes, we, we... You know, you can give Melanie and Jim a chance, you know, if you, or if you didn't like Bents, come, come back, back and because give things it a try. Should be so, hey, we need, to, we need to support it. So, if you are going out to lunch, you know, and you're thinking of going to Quincy to lunch, think about coming here to lunch. Absolutely. You know? Uh, well, you know, we're essentially taking over a business that is in need of help, and we know that. Especially as being local Miltonites, we know that. And, and so, our, our number one goal is to provide service, faster service. And then beyond that, keep the same products that everybody loves, but offer them more. Mm -hmm. Offer them a little bit more of an option. Um, and, and service the local businesses in town and, and just... Be a little more visible and exactly, be a on more people's visible. minds. Exactly. And, okay. and, and get, the, get the history out there a little bit more. You know, um, we'd love to down the road work with the schools, um, mm -hmm. the high school and the public schools and even the private schools and, and have um, tours of the facility because it's a great piece of history. Um, you know, we'd be happy to give samples of hardtack for the history teachers so that they can show um, a real authentic piece of hardtack when they're doing their studies on the Civil War. Right. Um, and, and that's something that oh, that's a great like idea. to get involved that's in. That's a great idea. Oh, I know some history teachers. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. So that's, that's just another, and that's a fun facet of this mm -hmm. business. It's not just, you know, a high-end sandwich shop with, with cookies. It's, you know, it's, it's got the crackers and, and the history behind it that really make it authentic and unique. Maybe you have to sell, do you sell soups? We do. We you have, have oyster crackers, a special oyster exactly. cracker. What do people eat oyster crackers with? With soup, and we do have soup daily. Um, do they eat it with chowder too? Do people eat yes. oyster well, crackers with chowder? It's essentially, it's, it's for the chowder, but you, anybody else that likes them with, you know, a chicken noodle or a chili can have them as well. Okay. Uh, and they're really, they're they're very tasty, and it's not that octagonal in the, the little cellophane. It's, it's just a different thing. Man. Now, folks, if you look around here, I see you have some old pictures up on the wall. Do you know yes. any of the history on any of these? Why don't you walk around here with me? Um, I'm going to pause the camera for a minute. I'll, I'll pick it up a little bit so you can um, see where we Okay, Melanie, we got some pictures up on the wall. Uh, can you share sure. with us a little bit? Well, what we wanted to do is create a section of history for the store. And so this wall is dedicated to sort of the history of Benz. And we wanted the to wall of fame. Exactly. We wanted to put, except my picture is not up here. <laughs> Melanie's picture will be here soon. <laughs> um, so what we have here is pictures taken from many, many years ago. Um, you going to go this one first? Can you see this one here? Yes. This is uh, the outside of the store, I want to say, at least 40 years ago. Um, Benz Best Biscuits. I love it. Yeah, and then this one was taken in uh, 1948. Um, has a new storefront to it, and you can see it says um, Baker's um, uh, G. H. Bent and Co. And they, they kind of did a different uh, front to it. Are any of those old signs still around? Uh, I well, this one 
I believe this one is, but I'm not sure on the others. Um, if you'll notice, it still has, we still have the same um, sort of loading dock area. However, the storefront has been changed, cut right. in there. Um, and then this is somebody parked out front. Uh, we do beans, uh, baked beans. You do baked beans? Yes. Yeah. And this happens. Now, wait a minute. I didn't know you did baked beans We yet. do a few other specialty items. Do you use the old baked bean pots? You ever see the old baked? I have to talk to my husband about that. I'm not the one <laughs> well, that Jim's not here. here. <laughs> okay. Um, and then these are actually the factory workers from way back when. Uh, this is... Uh, Know how they're fueling the back ovens. Um, the this is basically the brick oven piece of it, and then uh, they were preparing the the crackers for distribution. So now, folks, if you, can you see this picture? Are you looking at this one, Nicole? Mm -hmm. The the ovens that are built in the wall are still upstairs, but we didn't have a good enough lighting, and I didn't bring my portable light, so uh, so another time we'll come up here and the, the, up, up where these tables are is where the um, high tech machines are, the old machines are. So. We'll have to come back sometime. Or you're just going to have to come and visit up here one day and go on one of the historical tours. Absolutely. And then on that far section of the wall and is... And we got a scale to weigh the cookies? Yes. You sell them by the pound, right? We sell them by the pound, the half pound, or they can buy an individual cookie if they would like. Um, any variation is, is fine, but that's how we do it. We weigh it there and then we bring it over. And how do you stay so slim being around all these cookies? Well, She's definitely not trying okay. the merchandise. Having three children under the age of six will do it to you. <laughs> were they happy when they found out they were becoming owners of a cookie factory? They, they don't quite understand why daddy is always here, but they're very excited that when they come in, they get a cookie. It's like Willy Wonka's yes. chocolate factory. Oh, Mom and Dad, oh, what do your parents do? They own a cookie factory. Oh! <laughs> okay, and then we have some pictures over here. Correct, and this is our, our sort of... Uh, uh, cracker area where we keep all the hard tack and the history of, of the cookies um, and that is one of the uh, original logos um, from GH Bend & Co. Uh, sort of history on the, the water crackers and then this is um, a few snapshots from a few years ago this is Gene Parati. He now he's is, the person you bought it from? Correct, he's the gentleman we bought it from, uh, he's a great guy um, and these are uh, some of the pictures from um, distribu uh, sort of producing the crackers from quite a few years ago. Uh, here they're making um, the water crackers. Does this man still work here? He does not. No. Billy Baker, Billy Quigley. <laughs> no. And in fact, uh, the uh, Gene had told me that this uh, picture here they had submitted to the Globe at one point for, um, you know, to be on, uh, on the news or whatever. It's a great picture of them actually pulling the dough off. Um, after so pulling the dough off after producing the um, after cutting the crackers, the yeah, it's pretty neat. So just piles and piles and piles of crackers. Well, it'd be nice to have like some tins, but you know, in the future, you might consider making tins again, like the original tins. I, I had asked about tins because I wanted really? to send them as gifts. Oh, what a great from idea! From Milton, and they didn't have tins. So another great idea. Because I have bought in the past from different companies cookies in tins sure. and they ship them out to you whoever you want to send them to. It's a fabulous so, idea know. and it's a great logo. Um, the little girl is sort of our, is our trademark. So Can you see that one? You can't see that one? Okay. Um, will that come off the wall? Absolutely. Pull it off. Crash! Okay. All right. Nicole, see if you can um, zoom in on this here. Nicole Duvall is a new camera person this week helping us out learning the ropes. Nicole, can you see this? Yes. So that's a, that was on the tins, and uh, you can see the um, cold water, cold water crackers, Milton Mass. Too bad there's no data on that. Made of select wheat flour and water, nine pounds. <laughs> that's a big no, box of crackers. It is a big box of crackers. Maybe a desert does this have a date? Uh, it doesn't. Okay. And we were trying to look for more pictures. We know there's got to be some more pictures. Well, you know around. what? Ask the people at home. Absolutely. If you have any pictures of Ben's um, in your archives at home, maybe you came here as a child or something, we let you know, let Melanie know. They can make a copy and everything, and we'll we get them up. On, we'll listen to me. We'll get them up on the wall. You, she'll get them up on the wall. <laughs> okay, maybe you can sell shares in the cookie factory. <laughs> well, you've had some fabulous ideas, so we we really um, welcome any feedback from anybody. 
regarding what we should do, what we shouldn't do, whether it's negative feedback, positive feedback, suggestions, ideas. We are open and eager to um, look at it from all angles. All right. So, folks, you know, uh, let her know how you feel. If you're not happy with something, you better let, let them know, too, because how are they going to correct it? If, if we don't know. They used to have the, the uh, sheets of brownies or Congo squares. We still do that. You we, still have the Congo yep, squares? That, uh, th that would be over in that section there. We have uh, full, tray brown full trays of brownies and Congos, half trays. Um, as well as Boston cream pie, which happens to be my favorite all-time pie. My dad used to make the It's well, my the favorite best. pie, too. And matter of fact, we just had it um, last night. Did Some you? left. But it was the, uh, no, BJ's. Yes. No. And I've been looking for a Boston cream pie that is good, not feel, not full of, you know, preservatives and it's not, not tasting that great, you know? There is nothing like his. His is fantastic. So this is your husband's recipe? Well, it's jeans. It's jeans, and yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I've never tried it. We have it, all so. the recipes from him now. Um, that was that was part of the deal. You get the recipes. The, oh, of course. The secret recipes. Yes, we have them locked in a vault. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Well, hey, this has been fun. Um, what else would you like? Anything else you want to share with the folks? Um, just, you know, come see us. Uh, give us your suggestions and ideas. Um, we are looking forward to remaining in the community and uh, making the business grow to where it really, the potential that it really should be because it's not there. And, um, you know. She's frustrated. They've been open a week. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I feel bad for Jim. It's a Jim, wait, come on, it's been a week. <laughs> it's, a, it's a large undertaking. Um, Jim's been getting up at 4.30 in the morning, going upstairs and baking. And you remember the donut commercial? Time to make the donuts. That's true, huh? My my Honey, you want to stay and watch a movie? No, I gotta go to bed. My mother used to say that to my father. Time to make the. They used to joke about it, but it's true. I, you and know, he baked the pies. Yes. Now, correct. Your experience with pies is any of that gonna be incorporated into the yes, future eventually, events? Eventually, definitely. Some of those will. homemade recipes that you had from Abs your dad. Absolutely, we would like to incorporate some of that. Is your dad still with us? No, he's not. He oh. passed away, but uh, the company still remains. It does, okay. And that's called Baker's Best, and it's in East Hartford, uh, Connecticut. My uncle runs it okay. because they were in partnership together, so that company's still around. And um, that's, you know, so we just incorporate more product, but we want to do what we're doing now well. Sure, before you start right. going before elsewhere. Before we start branching out even right. further. Um, but it just it's just a great product, and we, we need more visibility. And... Um, well, you're on Milton Gable. I mean, you can't get more of it. Man, I mean, you're... <laughs> Matter of fact, we're going to put this on YouTube. You are? www... No, what, what's the web address? You, uh, YouTube.com forward slash Milton Talk of the Top. Sounds good. And great. that's where I put all the videos for the shows I do. And um, I'll send you a link after we put it that up there. That would be great. But it's... Um, you, you will see this all over the world. You can talk about... They can read all hear about you talking about the hard tack cookies. Yeah, it's just that part itself is 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 just a very special feature mm -hmm. that um, you're not going to get anywhere. And you know whether or not you really want to eat a piece of hard tack or not remains to be seen. But uh, it's you give them for gifts. You it's give like them giving them fruitcake. Yeah, <laughs> like, like I was saying, exactly. It's like a fruitcake. They never touch it. They just look at it. Uh, like I was saying earlier, in the course of one day, I got a call from Walla Walla. Uh, Washington, Washington okay. and then Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and all these folks calling me about the heart attack, and it's just, it's very fascinating that they're so intrigued by um, how it's made, and where are we, and, and what are the machines, and they, they just want to know. Because they want something historical. Exactly. They're, they're looking for that. And but we have it right here in Milton, home of the cracker. Milton, home of the cracker. I uh, really man, appreciate oh man. <laughs> I love it. We need a big sign as they come into town. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the opportunity to come on the network and to just talk about it and, and let you folks know that um, we're, we're looking forward to being here, but, but, but being better. Or, you know, status quo is not good enough and, and to make it where it, to the level that it should be and to branch out further so that, you know, you're not, you can't, you're not just getting bents here, but you know if you go to the fruit center, hopefully, or 
wherever that you might be able to get a you know the crackers. Now I noticed the cookies here. Now the cook some people like soft gooey cookies. These, These are not are soft and gooey. Hard crunchy cookies. If you want soft and gooey, you would like our brownies. Um, but for these are more. I like this kind of cookie. Yeah. I know everybody has a different, you know. And the kids, my kids, they, you know, they, they don't know that it's really what's going on. Um, every night, what do you want? Ben's cookie. I mean, what's not, their favorite? Uh, you know what it is? The Chocolate red and chip? green. No, oh. the red and green sprinkles. They like the colors. They love the colors and the nonpareils. The nonpareils are the ones with all different colors. Around things. And nonpareil in French means nothing better. Nothing better. Nothing better. Nothing better. Nothing so, better than Ben's cookies. That's what the kids they they, they like the color. That's what they mm -hmm. want. So, yeah. Wow. So hey, well, listen, you have a job to do, and uh, yes. we hope you're successful because we want to be able to come here. People have been yeah. really just very supportive in town, just saying, you know, we hope you, you know, we hope you do well. Are you gonna start a fan club? People can become members of the Ben's Cookie Well Cracker Fan Club. Are you a cracker? I'm a cracker. <laughs> Where's your card? Show me your card. And if you remember, you get 5% off any purchases here. But you need to give us your email so we can remind you of our specials. You've got some great <laughs> I think you need to start working, Jerry. Oh, and I've, I've gained too much weight. <laughs> but it's been fun. Thank uh, you. Folks, I hope you enjoyed coming over to the events, meeting uh, Melanie Davis. Thank you so much. Her and her husband, Jim, have taken over ownership of uh, this uh, Milton Institution, and they really want to make a go of it. She's a little nervous. She's not sleeping at night because they've gone through their first week and they didn't break every record in the book. <laughs> so you need to come over here, have a sandwich, bring a friend, and uh, help them uh, really build that confidence that they're going to make it long term so that they do make it long term. And uh, so Thank 100 you. years from now, people can still be buying hardtack from you and helping people remember the history of our country and the history of Milton. So. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much. You know, i got to tell you a little story. I was supposed to do another show today, and the person couldn't make it, and I wanted to put another show on because the other one's getting stale. It's been on too long. And I called up Melanie today, and she had no time to prep. This is like, we do it today or not? She did it. So. Thank you. We appreciated it. Thank and you. And you can send the fan mail to her. She appreciates it. She'll write back to you folks at home. All right. <laughs> No, he, the phone's ringing. Your husband's going. Husband. Husband. You he know says, that's my husband. He's going. Oh, what are they doing still over there? So he wants to make sure I'm okay. Okay. All right, folks. So uh, stay tuned. Eileen Miles is going to be on in a minute doing the movie review. So we'll be right back. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. Hello, everybody, and Talk welcome.